Hello students, how are you all? Hope all of you are fine. So students, uh, yesterday we have done some uh, class work in our copy and some book work in our book. Yes. So I hope all of you have understood about the expanded form. Is it? Okay. So today we are going to do exercise 1.4, question number 4, 5 and 6. Okay. So these questions we are going to do in our, in our copy. Okay students. So now all of you take out your book page number 14 of ex uh, exercise 1.4. All of you concentrate on the question at first. Okay students. So here you see what is the question given. Question given write the following in a standard form. Okay. Yesterday we have learned about our expanded form. Means we have break the number. And here it is a standard form. Means we have to join the numbers. Okay. So now I am going to start. Okay. So all of you look here. Question number 4. So first question given. 8000 plus 200 plus 60 plus 5. So this question we have done in exercise 1.1. Or exercise 1.2 okay the same way we have to write here only just four digit is given so we will just put the num first digit in a here answer okay so yet first number but given eight so we will write eight second number two and third number six and last number five okay so this is called a standard form okay means all the numbers are given in a thousand place hundred place tens place and ones place so we have uh, instead of writing zero zero we have directly written the first digit means in a standard form so this form is called a standard form okay students now b number you see question given 4000 plus 300 plus 7 okay so here you see this is given in thousand place three digit thousand then two digit hundred so this is what seven so this is a single digit it means it's before number is not given okay it's before number will be in which place tens place so if before number is not given so it will it, it is in tens place but at the last number is given this is in ones place so what we will do at first we will write this four first digit that is four the so second digit is what three so we'll write three but as this tens place is not given so the whenever we are going to write and solve any questions so if any place value is not given of any place so in that place we are going to write zero okay students in that place value we are going to write zero so here will be zero is it okay now one's place is already given so this will be one's place seven so what is the standard form the standard form is four three zero seven is it clear students is it clear only this the thing is now here you see in first question tens place given but here tens place is not given in this number so as this tens place is not given so in tens place we are going to write zero okay but and the last number is given so last digit will be written here but it is not compulsory that only tens place will not be given it may be hundred place also it may be ones place also if hundred place if any number is not given suppose i am writing for example for example, I am writing, okay, like 2000 plus uh, 40 plus 3, okay. Now you see, this 100 place is not there. Is it there? No. So at first we will arrange the number. This first digit is what? 2. 1000 place is given. But 100 place is not there. Is it given or not? Not given. So that 100 place, what we will write students? We are going to write 0, okay. Then the next digit is what? 4. So you are going to write 4. And last digit in one's place given 3. So this is the standard form. Is it okay students? I hope all of you have understood. Okay. D number. Now D number you see here given 1000 spellings given. So same thing will be there. In, instead of 1000, at first you will write the question 3100 plus 3 ones. So and then you convert the 1000 place. Like I am writing here. Okay. I am showing you. Here D number given 3000 plus 100 plus 3 ones. So at first it, if you don't understand then you convert the number. 3000 given so 1000 means 3 triple 0. Okay. Then 1 is given in 100. 
So 100 means 100. Zero zero. So here you see 3 ones given. Tens place is not given. So we will not write tens place. Directly we will write 3 ones. So 3 ones. 3 ones means if you multiply 3 by into 100. So it will be 3. So here is 3 is given. Okay. Now we will write its standard form. So 3 is written here. 1 is given in 100 place. So 1 we have written. But as 10 is not given. So what we will write students? What we will write? We will write. 0 okay and this last number we will write here 3 is it clear so in this way you will solve a i have solved for you b i have solved for you and d number i have solved so a b c d e f g and h all these questions you can solve in your class work copy okay students okay i hope all of you have understood now come to question number 5 question number 5 you see Question given, find the sum of the place value of both the 7s in 8767. Sum. And as sum means what students, do you understand what is the meaning of sum? Sum means it's plus. Okay. Sum means plus, means addition. So here we have to find out. I am writing the question for you. Okay. I am writing here the question. Find the sum of the Place value of both the sevens. Seven means two sevens are there in this question. Eight, seven, six, seven. Okay. Now we have to find the sum. Sum means what students? Sum means plus. Means addition. Okay. So here what we will do? At first we will write solution. Then here question is given that in 8, 7, 6, 7, how many 7s are there? First you tell me. How many 7s are there? Here 2 7s are there. Yes, 2 7s are there. So we have to find the place value of both the 7 at first. Okay. At first we will find the place value of both the 7s. Then we are going to add it. Okay. Then we are going to add. Means I will write suppose the place value of. 7 in I don't have place I am writing here okay 8 7 6 7 so first we are going to take this 7 okay first we are going to take this first 7 so this what is the place value of this 7 students what is the place value this is H 100 place okay so as this is 100 place so we are going to multiply this 7 with 100 so 7 into 100 is what students it is 700 okay it is what 700 Next, we are going to write the place value of next 7 is we have to get a card, okay? Here two 7s are there, so already we have taken out one 7. Now the other 7 we have to take out. The place value of 7 in 8767 7 is. So now we have to find out this place value. This place value 7 is, what is the place value of this 7? It is 1, okay? It is 1. It is 1. That is like 1000, 100, 10 and 1. If you don't understand, then you can write these things in your copy to make understand. Okay. So, here 7 is given. So, 7 is multiplied with 1. So, 7 ones are how much students? It is 7. Okay. Now, the question given sum. So, we have to add this number. Okay. Now, we will add the number. And this 7 should be written below this first 0. Okay. Don't write here. If we'll write here in place of this second zero means hundred place tens place, it will be wrong. It should be written always in the first digit below. So zero plus seven is what students seven. So here comes zero as any number is not carrying. So this zero will be added written here. Okay, directly. Now what is the last number? Seven. So our answer is seven zero seven. Okay, this is our answer. Okay, students. So, in this way, you will do the maths. Okay. This five number answer will be in this way only. Means at first, we have to take out the place value of both the seven. Then we will add it. Okay. Now, question number six. Same question you see here given difference. Difference means what students? Difference means minus. It means subtraction. Okay. So, here we have to find, at first we have to find the place value of 2060, uh, 2067 number is given. From here we have to find the place value of 2 and 7. So we will write solution. Okay. Solution 
at first we will write the place value of at first question what given 2 in 2 0 6 7 so now we will find the place value of 2 what is the 2 place value students place value is 2 where place value is 1000 so it will be multiplied with 1000 so answer will be 2 into 1000 is 2000 okay now question given find the place value of 6 so we will write the place value of 6 in 2067 equal to now this 6 place value we have to find out so 6 place value is what students here it is 10 it is 10 so if we multiply 6 with 10 what will be the answer it will be it will be students 60 so we will write 0 at first below this 0 then we will write 6 okay now you subtract why subtract because yet the question given find the difference between okay difference between means minus now we will subtract now you see 0 minus 0 students 0 minus 0 is 0 okay now 0 minus 6 can we subtract 0 minus 6 no as 0 is small greater as smaller and 6 is greater so what we will do we will borrow z 1 from here okay at first you cut this 0 and you write here 0 and from here we will borrow 1 so you it will be 10 as we have borrowed here so what will be left here 9 okay so one, uh, now 10 minus 6 is how much students 10 minus 6 is how much students 10 minus 6 is 10 minus 6 is how much 10 minus 6 is 4 okay 4 10 minus 6 is 4 now what is left from now you see as from here we have borrowed one so here is left 9 so it will be 9 directly because here no digits is there okay now from 2 we have borrowed here 1 so here how much left it is left it is left 1 so here it will come directly 1 so our answer will be 1940 okay students so this is the answer of 6 number this is the answer of 5 number and before some time I have shown you this is the answer of 4 number okay so in this way you will solve all these questions in your copy so in this way you will solve all these questions in your copy here the same way you will write in your classwork copy and this also you will write in your classwork copy okay I hope all of you have understood is this students okay thank you